Welcome to Citing Right, a unit that will show you how to correctly cite the sources you use most frequently, books and websites. We will answer three essential questions in this lesson. Why cite sources? What will we learn? And where do we find things? Essential question number one is, why do I need to cite sources? There are three reasons to cite sources. First, we cite a source to give credit to researchers and acknowledge their ideas. Second, we cite a source to avoid plagiarism. And third, we cite a source to allow the reader to find the source for further information about the topic. Essential question number two is, what will we learn? This unit has three learning modules. Module number one contains a screencast that will introduce you to APA style and some of the other styles your teachers might ask you to use. The module includes an exercise for you to practice what you have learned. Module number two contains a screencast that explains in-text citations. You will learn what information you need to collect from each source you use, how to define an in-text citation, and how to create an in-text citation for a book or a website. Module number two contains two exercises for you to practice these new skills. Module number three contains a screencast defining a reference list and explaining how to create a reference list in APA style. The module closes with an exercise to practice creating a reference list. In addition to the three learning modules, this module starts with a pretest to assess what you already know about citing sources. After the learning modules, you will find a review, followed by the post-test. Essential question number three is, where can we find things on this website? The website's table of contents provides easy navigation to each section of the lesson. Pre-test, module one, Module 2, Module 3, the review, the post test, and references are clearly labeled. Here are some final thoughts. First, work through the lesson in order for the most effective use of this unit. Second, you can work through the unit at your own pace. Third, while you can work through the unit at your own pace, keep in mind the post-test due date assigned by your teacher. All graded activities must be completed by the post-test due date assigned by your teacher. Finally, contact the instructor with any questions, concerns, or issues. Don't wait to the last minute and miss a deadline. It's time to get started with Module 1. Click the link to Module 1 on the Table of Contents. Remember, while you can work through the modules at your own pace, all activities must be completed by the post-test due date.